Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at setting up a chart for black and white printing. This is handy for charts that are going to be printed in black and white or photocopied in black and white. It's important not to use color because a blue and a green may well print as exactly the same color when they're reduced to black and white. I'm going to create a very quick chart from this data. So I'm just going to select over my data, click the fly out here, go to charts. And I just want this to be a regular clustered chart. Now I would like this chart to have sales data as its chart title. So I'm going to click in the chart title, go up here and press the equal sign and then just click on this cell. When I press the enter key, the chart title is the contents of this particular cell. Now to prepare this chart for black and white printing, this is what you're going to do. You're going to select your first series, right click and choose format data series. That opens up the panel. You'll go to the fill options here, click on fill and go to pattern fill. This right now is defaulting to black, but if it didn't, you could just change the foreground color to black so that you get black options. So I'm going to choose a format for this, but at the same time, I'm going to open up the border options and I'm just going to add a solid black line to this. I'm going to make it one point so that it's easier to see. Now that line will make everything easier to see on the chart when it is actually printed or rendered in black and white. So we're going to come here and find a different pattern fill. Here what you're looking for is a fill that's going to show up, but it's going to be significantly different to the other one so it can't be confused for it. I'm just going to set the same width for this particular data point. And then I'm going to do the last one. Again, we're doing a pattern fill. I'm going to choose something that is significantly different. And we're going to add a line around the edge, which is just going to make it easier to see. Just want a one point line. Okay, at this point, you may want to also change some of your axes. So I'm going to add a solid one point line for my axis as well. So you can see that my chart is now a little bit easier to read than it was previously. It's going to print really well in black and white. It's going to be very clear as to what each of these data series represents. Now, if you need to do this on a regular basis, for example, you need to create lots of charts that have a similar look to them, you can do so. You'll right click this chart until you get this particular dialogue. Sometimes you might right click something and you'll get a different menu. So just right click the chart and what you're looking for is save as template. Now I've already done that a few times, but I'm going to call this one B&W. And we'll just click save. So that saves that template as a template that you can use over and over again. So let's see how that would work. So here I have a set of data that I want to chart and I want to prepare it for black and white printing. So I'm going to select over the area of the data that I actually want to chart. I'm not charting totals. I'm going to select quick analysis. I'm going to charts and I'm going to click here on more because this opens up the dialog. When I go to all charts, there's an option for templates. And here in the top corner is the B&W chart type that I just created. I'm going to click here and click OK. And this is my chart. Now, all I need to do is to fix up the chart title. In this case, I want to use cell A2. So I'm just going to click here, press the equal sign, click in cell A2 that has the contents and click enter on the keyboard. And this chart is already formatted and ready to go. Using chart templates for charts like these black and white setups makes good sense because you don't have to go to all the work of setting everything up. It's already going to be set up for you. If you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results every time, then you'll love my other YouTube videos. So give this video a thumbs up and click to subscribe to the channel. And on the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you to watch next.